good for everybody? This your girl. Only quality raps back at y'all doing what I do best. Got a new pickup. This probably gonna be my last pickup right here because man, I got too many sneakers going on right now. We got the sneaker game on lock for the summertime. I'm gonna focus on getting some sandals and some flip flops. Gotta keep it cute for the summertime as well. So I'm about to give y'all a little a little overview of all the replicas that I done picked up so far and some new ones that I done copped and I'm gonna be doing them so but y'all see what I done got so far. These two shoes over here, they a pair of uh, trainers. And I think these are a pair of Admax 2009s or 10s. I think it's 2009, I can't really remember. But these right here for my brother and my sister. As you can see, these shoes are kind of small. So if I got any kids and you try, you know, get them some shoes, I can tell you we can get some good kid shoes from, you know, at a decent price and quality, you know, pretty decent. Because I don't order um, some kid shoes from them already, but they don't live up here. I had to ship them down south. But anyway. I don't think I'm them shoes back there. They're my unofficial eights, and I call them unofficial because Jordan brand has never released this colorway. It was something the factories put together, and I like them, and that's why I got them. Got the stizz like there in the background. What I got going on right here? Oh, yeah. Got the 2011 Air Maxes. Got these chocolate Air Maxes. I already did a review on them. Oh, oh wait a minute. You see them, you see them eights right there, right? Yeah. One, two, one, two. Somebody seen those shoes that I was wearing right there and they said they had to get them. They ain't even care with doing any reason or not. Where I'm from, where, but they went away. We ain't got time for the little kid game. Check them out. Still reviewing them too. You already done seen them shoes. You seen them right there. You seen them shoes back there, but you ain't seen these right here. This is another shoe that the fact put together and got a, um, LeBron so worn in this Air Force one, but I like it, so I grabbed that for myself. Coming on over here, what we got going on? We got the Retro Cardinals right here. Then I also ordered a pair of uh, Sixes, and then I got a pair of um, 2011 Take Flight. I didn't see nobody do review on these or them. And what else I got going on? Y'all already done seen the breads already. Y'all already done seen the Gotham City Air Maxes, the All Black 24-7, Space Jam back there, a pair of, I don't know, it's an all pair of Air Maxes 90 that I picked up, and what else I got going on? But yeah, these right here. Nobody has ever, that I've seen, done a review on a replica uh, Carmelo M7s. These are not for me, they for somebody else and they wanted them, so I'm getting to a little root with that, so y'all just stay tuned. And you know, just, just check out everything I don't, I don't. So this right here is the Nike Air Max 2011 edition. Take a look at it. Pretty decent shoe. Everything on the shoe is how it's supposed to be. With the exception of one thing. And if you know your shoe, you know what's wrong with it. And it ain't the sole this time, because the sole is how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to have that, um, that, uh, that clear, gummy, icy look to it. And the Amex is also 3M reflective. Everything, like I said, is good with the shoe, with the exception of the tag or, you know, the tongue. Because the tongue is supposed to be um, metallic and it's not. But, you know, from safety value, the shoe look good. Nobody really going to be able to, to know. And here you go. The other one sitting up here. Um, these shoes are not from my original site where I ordered all my shoes from. If y'all keep in contact with me, you already know where I get most of my air matches from. This is from another site. Y'all wanna know where I got them from? Like I always tell y'all, hit me up. So there they go. Try to make this uh, video short too. That's how the actual pair of 2011 is supposed to look. So look at that one. And then you look at my them them are it's pretty much identical like i said with the exception of you know the tongue right there it is supposed to be metallic and it's not i mean if i probably took the time out i probably could turn this into a metallic tongue i mean it really don't take much to go you know to joanne's or your local art supply store it'll get something to go over but you know i ain't really right about that right now so that's it for right there 2011 uh white metallic and actually, pair of shoes I got. Uh, a pair of Kobe uh, sixes. I was gonna get the Grinches, but I was like, nah, I don't really feel them like that. 
Let me get getting some better light so y'all can see. Um, this shoe look good. Almost started to get this shoe in um, a size eight and a half because people that was doing reviews on the shoe was telling me that she was actually cut kind of big. But this shoe was nine point five, and I wear a nine, and it fit me like a nine. So if you want to order at least this color in this particular model, I would say get your get your size. We'll go. I have size up, but you wear a nine like me, a nine and a half. It'll fit you perfectly. Y'all can see that. And they put the you know the real copper fly one there. And the shoe, the shoe looks good. I'm actually um, surprised with the quality of it. Got the signature back there the way it's supposed to be. And also you can um you can Nike ID Kobe. If you want Nike.com so Pretty much whatever color you get, I mean, ain't nobody, can't nobody sit up there and say they fake because you can make them any way you want. Yeah. And as far as the scaling on the shoes, scales are, scales are good. They don't, they're not coming off. They don't feel like they're going to come off. I can't pull them off. So, you know, the shoe, the shoe is good. And it fits very, very comfortably. You know, I'm loving it. I think this is one of my favorite uh, pickups so far for this for this year. Now this shoe right here, this is essentially a Nike Air Force One with a LeBron James sole on, as you can see on the back. Um, Jay, turn around to the front. They got 20, and then they got uh, they got three right there. But when I seen this shoe, I like this, so that's why I grabbed it. Pretty decent look good. I don't really like Air Force Ones too much when I seen they had just so pick the soul one. I'm feeling it. So you know I had to go ahead and grab it. See that? Let me show you on the back. You know, soul got the definitely got the LeBron soul on them. You know, but the shoe, she look good and feel comfortable too. You know the air chamber that they got going on and it's, it's really good. And they also gave me um I got a lot of stuff. You gave me a pack of laces. I'm not gonna wear these, but you know, you never know. And this, these shoes right here, I did get these from the site that I usually order from. Y'all already know that is in trade spot. And my shoes got here in about, I think, three days. I haven't found a site yet that can ship me my shoes as quick as they can. These are the Carmelo M7s. Now these shoes are not for me. They actually for somebody else, but. Take a look at it. And he has the um, reflective 3M on it too as well. I'm going to show you a little preparancy as soon as I find my mouth. snapshot of how the actual um, M7 supposed to look. China edition. Look at this shoe. It's identical. Even down to the sole. I mean they did a pretty good job on the shoe. See how the tag look? How the tag's supposed to be. Even down to the color of the laces and the little uh, paint job they tried to put on it pretty much identical even the bubble will see through. I can get that on here. Yeah everything is not cool to be with this shit. Came back a little dirty but you know we can easily wipe that off get that squared away. Back this shoe. Alright the next shoe I'm about to get into. They already got pretty <laughs> Oh boy, I'm getting tongue-tied. 